Let's study about the hormone secreted by pituitary gland. First, we will study about the hormone secreted by anterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary, the first hormone is thyroid stimulating hormone, which will stimulate the production of thyroxine and triiodothyronine. Next is luteinizing hormone that is LH and follicle stimulating hormone that is FSH. In males, both FSH and LH is responsible for spermatogenesis and in males, FSH stimulates Sertoli cells which will in return secrete androgen binding protein, transferrin, plasminogen activator and inhibin and LH will stimulate Leydig cells to produce testosterone in females. We can learn it by, as we can see in FSH there is an S. So, FSH will stimulate Sertoli cells. LH stimulate Leydig cells, L, L. So, you can learn it by this trick. FSH promotes growth and development of, in females, FSH gro uh, promotes growth and development of ovarian follicles during the follicular phase of menstrual cycle and in mid-cycle of the menstrua menstrual cycle, there is a peak of LH which is also known as LH surge which induce ovulation. In females, both FSH and LH are necessary for the development of corpus luteum during the luteal phase of menstrual cycle. So, LH and FSH important. Next is growth hormone. Growth hormone promotes growth. Next is prolactin. Prolactin its main effects is on the breast and stimulate lactation. ACTH that is adrenocorticotrophic hormone. It controls cortisol release from adrenal cortex and skin pigmentation. Now we will study about the posterior pituitary hormones. First one is arginine vasopressin which is ADH, antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin. It promotes reabsorption of water by renal tubules. So, the main point is it only reabsorb water and not the electrolyte, where next is oxytocin, Oxytocin function is to promote uterine contraction and expression of milk from the breast. So, oxytocin is responsible for the uterine contraction and ejection of the milk from the glands of breast. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.